long day. And I and and I'm recording this the next day. I just don't understand people on our side of the aisle. It, it just it just it's amazing to me how you really look and you think about things. I'm not even going to freaking even try to to jump into this. I'm just going to jump into this or not go over it rather. Wisconsin right now did a tweet that said that, oh, yeah, by the way, um, you know, we're concerned about the Tim Michaels campaign because they got people in there wearing multiple hats and whatever, whatever they said. And Wisconsin right now is so good in their lane of investigative journalism. I don't think there's anybody in their space in the media. But to tweet something negative about Tim Michaels when the election is at a dead heat shows in the very least that they're either incompetent, which they're not. They're they're all smart. Jim and Jessica are smart. Or they're still in bed with Clayfish and they want Tim to lose because they can't let it go. I don't know what it is, <clears throat> but I said it before and I say it again. Nobody wants to battle and fight and all this kind of stuff. I don't want to get into another battle with these people. I want all of us to have a conservative in Madison. Now, you don't like him or whatever, but he's the only conservative that we have. So, or Republican, whatever you define Tim as. And I wasn't going to do anything today. Um, you know, I was, I was just, I'm just in awe of, of, of how we can be at this stage, few weeks left, two months left, and we are, are, are posting negative things about the conservative that is left. For what reason? Like I said, I'm going to lay off this. Because I have a feeling it'll play itself out. They threw a little jab at Tim. I threw a little jab back at them to kind of let them know like, okay, I'm still here. You know, you know what happened last time we went back and forth. You got personal, you know, Jim posted my taxes. Jessica probably helped. I'm not sure. You know, they got personal, um, put my child support lien up there because I chose when I was younger. I chose to pay for their education and I got behind on some of my bills. I have a, um, I have it set up with the Wisconsin Department of Revenue. I pay them um, X amount of dollars every week. It's a pretty decent amount of money at this point because I'm trying to get caught up. So far as far as that, you know, I don't really want to hear, you know, that everything is fair or whatever, because I never went at Jim's Jim's business or, or whatever, you know, and he was trying to and my daughter. You know, all jokes aside, my daughters was reading that and was like, what is this clown saying about you, daddy? And I'm like, you know what? He not a clown. It's just he was, you know, you know, he was working with Rebecca Clayfish and he felt the need to defend her. And he defends Jessica McBride, even though Jessica McBride kind of was going back and forth, you know, with me. And he felt that he had to jump in for whatever reason. But I respect that because Jessica, that's his teammate, his business partner or whatever. You know, he's supposed to, they suppose he's supposed to have her back. I respect that. There's just like somebody go at Paris. I'll rip their mother head off. Everybody know that though. And I feel the same way about Tim. You go at Tim, I'm going to rip your head off because I know he a real dude. I done met him. I done talked to his family, his wife and him, his children, they good people. That's all I need. You know, I done lost some friends over this whole thing. It's really frustrating because I lost some close guys over this whole Rebecca Clayfish thing. They they made a couple comments, even though like it was a small comment. It's all good, man. You made a small comment about me, tried to make it look like that I'm taking marching orders from uh from from Tim Michaels, trying to knowing how hard it was to build this business with Paris, and then you implying that we on somebody's payroll, so we not as authentic. Not nah, you can't do that. Uh uh-uh. uh. We'll never be the same. But it's cool, though. Everybody be in their lane. Like I said, like Ed, Ed Delgado, his show is phenomenal. He got a he got a real nice, um, real nice space that he in. But that that sh- pissed me off beyond belief. But it's all good, man. We all live. We all learn. You know, we got people that still on the whole Rebecca thing, you know, whatever. And they say, Ian, you shouldn't bash people. And it's always me, though. It ain't no it ain't nobody else. It's me. I'm the one that made Wisconsin right now 
put that tweet up about Tim Michaels when the election is at a dead heat. Yeah, that's my fault somehow. Or if people don't vote for Tim and come out and support him, that's my fault somehow. I can make people not want to vote or support the candidate that they should when they claim that they are conservative. If you don't vote for Tim Michaels, you are not a conservative. That simple. But, nah, ain't no but. Next segment.